right, everyone. So um, this is another lesson, how to apply diminished and, oh, <laughs> I have to change this still. It's actually augmented, not agu. So let's change that to augmented chords. Nice. Okay, so good evening. And if you're just joining, uh, my name is Vipian. You already know me. So we'll be talking about this. And um, this was, uh, this is a topic uh, suggestion. Someone suggested the topic. So look out for my post every morning. I do make a post about topic suggestions. So you can make a topic suggestion you want me to treat. And I'm going to treat it that day when I come on live. That day you might treat it. So you know how we do it. If you're just joining, don't forget to share this video. Share this video so that other people can participate and um, benefit, you understand. Also, another thing you can do for me is let me know where you're watching from so that, um, you know, we can connect more and see how it's going. Okay, so how to apply diminished and augmented and augmented chords in a song okay so at the end of this video we'll see how we can apply all this and make it even more interesting than it sounds okay so let's go straight up i'm just trying to do all my setups straight <laughs> i'm sorry i'm late i'm supposed to start 8 30 but uh you know what happens with the network sometimes it can be very funny so let's go um Starting this whole topic, you have to look at first how to let's let's analyze it carefully. So the first line of contention is how to apply. So it means it's not enough to know these chords. There's how to apply. So there must be a way to apply. So I'm going to show you that how to apply diminished. So you must know what a diminished chord, and you must know what an augmented chord is then how to apply them in a song so i'm giving you the breakdown on how i'm going to break down all these topics then the final bowl of contention is knowing all this is good hi sammy how are you doing good evening sammy so knowing all this code is good but now in the but the main thing that's the climax of the whole game is how do you now apply this in in a song or in songs Okay. Okay, so let's go. Um, first of all, what is a diminished chord? A diminished chord is very simple. It's a chord where you have your roots, you have your flat, your flat three, and you have your flat five. Very simple. For example, on the key of C, if you have C major chord right away, if you flat your your third, your three, and you flat your five. This is a diminished chord. So it's just, this is the way it is. Once you have, uh, once you have, once you have knowledge of one, it's easy to do the next one. So diminished chord is your, your root flat three, flat five. So if you already know major chord, just hold your major chord. All you have to do is flatten your third and your five by a semitone. And here you go. Yeah, so we have people watching from, uh, from Lagos. Hi. Hi, Samuel. How is it going? Okay. So let's continue. And um, this is diminished. If you try it on another key, this is F major chord. You just flatten your third and your five. This is, dim this is F diminished chord. Now, what's the formula for augmented chord? Augmented chord is your one, three, and flat six. Or sharp five. But let's move with flat six, that's more easy. One, three, flat six. Then on key C, one, three, flat six. On C sharp, one, three, flat, flat six, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, three, flat six. So this is C sharp augmented. Uh, this is C sharp augmented chord. Now, you now know the formula for getting augmented chord and you know the formula for getting diminished chord. Very essential. So what it means, you can now play it. You okay, so we're back. We're back now. We had some network-ish. So when we have network-ish like that, what I do is I 
wait for the network to connect. I stop talking and I wait for the network to connect. So now we are back. So we can continue. We can continue. So let's continue right away. So like I said, I said you have, you now know what an augmented chord is. You know what a diminished chord is. But most people, the issue they have with most people is the issue most people have is how to apply these chords. So applying this chord is something. It's one thing we are still going to treat. The next thing we are now going to treat is how to now apply these songs in songs. In apply these chords in songs. So good. So I'm using a sound called uh, this is a kind of a suitcase kind of sound. Yeah, cool. I was using a grand piano, but I wasn't feeling it that much, so I decided to change to this. So, let's continue. Now, what is the first way you can apply diminished chords? Um, applying diminished chords, you can use diminished chords as passing chords. You can use diminished chords as... You can use diminished chords as chord replacements. Do you understand? So, let's put it down. Passing chords and diminished and chord replacements. So how to apply diminished chords? You already know what is a diminished chord, one flat three flat five. How do you apply it? You can now apply it as passing chords and as chord replacement. The same thing as augmented chords, you can apply augmented chord as passing chord and as chord replacement, which I'm going to be showing you the example and how it's gonna be. Don't forget to share this video so that other people can also benefit. That's a nice thing to do. Now, let's pick the first one. We can use diminished chord as a passing chord to chord 5. This is a very popular passing chord anyways. Using this diminished chord as a passing chord to chord 5 is a very popular one. Now, most people already know, most people already are familiar with. Now, this is it. Now, when you play your flat 5 as a diminished chord, it can be used as a passing chord to 5. So if we are playing on the key of, for example, on the key of, uh, of G, you know, this is G, then you have your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know your 5 is always played as a major. And that's why we have D major. Now, this is your flat 5. Now, if you play this flat 5, as a diminished chord you can use it as a passing chord to five this is what i mean so if you do like this one five go again one five now i want to play this flat five which is c sharp so i'm going to play c sharp diminished chord which is going to be this because this is c sharp major chord this is c sharp minor chord this is c sharp diminished chord so I this is I play C sharp this diminished chord. So when I play one on G five, so one five. So I want to play the diminished as a passing chord before I get to five. So I'm gonna do one five. So one diminished five. Very easy. I know a lot of people might have known this one, but you know I like to go easy, easy, easy till I start getting complex. So the one that you bring my boss poops. So it's cool to go easy and simple so that the beginners can always grab something and know where we are building to. So let's take it to another key of C. So if I have a C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you now have one, you have your five. So flat five, which is F sharp, all you have to do is play F sharp diminished chord as a passing chord to five. So if you do one five regular i think this keyboard is too loud let me do a reduction so yeah okay better so if you have one five now let's apply it one so you see one a very good one so that is how you can first i've shown you now so I'm showing you how to apply diminished chord. So the first one to apply a diminished chord is using diminished chord as a passing chord. And in using diminished chord as a passing chord, the first passing chord I'm showing you why using it as a diminished chord is using, if you play, okay, it's connected. So 
if you use flat 5 as a diminished let's play on f if you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you now play f and 5 is your c but the flat 5 is b so if you play b diminished chord you can use that passing chord to 5 easy piece this is a very straightforward distance so now let's apply it to a song this is the first one i've shown you i'm going to show you several ones also so let's say you are mm, you are a great god you are a great wow i wonder why this keyboard is sounding low to my ears let's increase it so let's see you are a great god you are a great god you are a great you see great god all i know so you see you are a great god all i know so i used flat five played as a diminished then it's, it's a passing chord to your five easy apply it on any other song now the next one i'm going to show you is this you can use diminished chord if you play your chord four as a diminished chord you can use it as a passing chord to your chord three so on the f major uh, on f major chord uh, f major scale you have one two three four five six seven eight so you understand so if you play chord f and chord four of f major scale is is a sharp so if i play a sharp I know your chord 4 is always a major chord, but if I play A sharp diminished chord, it's going to be like this. I can use this A sharp diminished chord as a passing chord to my chord 3 in F major scale. It's very simple. Just look at any major scale of any key, convert the, the 4 to play the 4 as a diminished. You can use it as a passing chord to your 3. Easy peasy. So if I do something like this, yesterday you rain. Then you go. So you see. So if you do yesterday you rain for you na, 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 na. So you see, I want to get I wanted to go to three mount. Let's say I'm playing my one, four, three. But now I played one, I went to four. Then I want I will convert this four to a diminished chord because I want to use it as a passing chord to three. So one, four, three. You see, it's cool. So I've converted this to a diminished chord and I use it as a passing chord to three. So playing your I've given you the first one. The first one I gave you for diminished chord. Is if you play your flat five as a diminished chord, you can use it as a passing chord to five. Now, if you play your four as a diminished chord, you can use it as a passing chord to three. Now, let's try another one. So, now you can use if you play your five as a diminished chord, you can use it as a passing chord to chord two, which is chord also it is chord two or chord nine the same so for example this is my major scale i have my one two three four five six seven eight which is do re mi fa sol la ti do so play your your five as a diminished chord so it doesn't matter on different keys going to change as you understand so on the scale of f tc is in the position of your five so what we're going to do we're going to play c diminished chord so when you play C diminished chord, you can use C diminished chord, which is because it's in the position of five, as a passing chord to two, two or nine. Mostly I change the two when I play here, nine, nine and two, it sounds the same, you understand? So it gives a feel. So if you do, now let's apply it to a song that has two in the progression. So, El Shaddai, so this is El Shaddai, two or nine. So, but I'm going to play five as a diminished, use it as a passing chord before I get to nine. So, mm. so you see, so, then 
then let's do for chord five. Then let's do for chord three. So I've given you ways to use diminished chords in three different progressions to use them as passing chords for three different progressions. The first one I gave you was for your five. The second one I gave you is for your four, and the third one I've give you I've given you now is for your and for your nine, which is also your eight, your two. So I've given you how to convert chords to diminished chords and use the nine. So using this song as example. So using this song as example, let's go. So see, um, L L. So see, L shadows. So we did this. Why? We've converted our five to a diminished chord, which means it can now be used as a passing chord to nine. So L shadows. Then we want to go to five. We converted flat five to passing to a diminished chord. It can now be used as a passing chord to five. L shadows. Now I want to go to three. We'll now convert our chord four to a diminished chord so it can be used as a passing chord to three. Hello. That's how it works. Easy peasy, lazy libby. <laughs> I don't know what I'm <laughs> So that is it I've been showing you. So let's see. Another diminished chord you can convert and use it as a passing chord is this. You can use diminished chord as a passing chord if you convert your chord one to a diminished chord you can use it as a passing chord to chord one what i mean and i will praise and lift you up so i did let me take on a lighter octave and i will praise and lift you up so, so i did like this so this passing chord major chord so this passing chord is your chord one this is your one if you play your one as a diminished chord you can use that one that you converted to diminished chord to a passing chord to your one which is a major chord so just play the diminish of your one you use it as a passing chord to your normal one which is a major chord so I'll lift you high, 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 Easy, easy, easy. Very easy. Understand? Okay, like I said, we are taking it slowly. This is the easiest version you can get. From here, I'll start going complex and complex. Then when I start seeing it, I will show you how to convert your diminished chords. You know, converting your diminished chords to seventh chords. You know, we play diminished seventh. You just see, you've now moved from playing the regular tried diminished chord. All these are tried chords, you understand? Move from trying, but I'm just giving you the hint to, you know, when you look at diminished chords, you're like, okay, how do I use, how do they even use these diminished chords? How are they used? Another secret I'm going to tell you, your diminished chord is always applied in your chord seven. So your chord seven is always your diminished, it's always a diminished chord. So if you're thinking of where diminished chord is, if you're running a major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just so that this seventh, seventh note of your scale is always a diminished. Naturally, it's a diminished on its own. So this is it. So this is naturally a diminished. So if you check this seven, this is, this is, this is E diminished. If you're playing on the key of C, C major scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is B. This B you're playing here on this C and on, on key C on the scale of C. This is B diminished. So on any key you're playing, your seven, your seven is always a diminished chord. There's something called a scale conversion formula. That's a topic of uh, another day, but I can just teach you in two seconds. A scale conversion formula. Your chord one is always played as a major. Your chord two is always played as a minor. Your chord three is always played as a minor. Your chord four is always played as a major. Your chord five is always played as a major. Your chord six is always played as a minor. Your chord seven is always played as a, as a diminished. And your chord eight is always played as a major. So major, minor, minor, major, major, diminish, and minor, diminished, major. I'll take it again. Major, minor, minor, major, major, uh, minor, diminished, major. So with this formula, it's easy for you to convert 
single notes of any scale to chords. It is just an abstract teaching, you understand? Just like, just take it as something like a bonus. <laughs> so you get, because a lot of you are confused. Don't go and start doing guesswork. Some people do guesswork. Uh, they will tell them, press one note, skip one, press the next one, skip one, press the next one. <laughs> you, you spend years, you waste years, you understand? Once you know the formula, it's easy for you to just play on any key. If I play on F sharp, one, do, re, mi, fa, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. All I have to do, since F sharp is in the position of one, I just play major. The number two is G sharp, so I play G sharp minor. Number three is minor, A sharp, so I play A sharp minor. So this. The number four is major, so I play B major. The number five is is major so i play c sharp major that's how you run it easy it's called a conversion formula to so convert single notes of your major chords um major chords so let's go back to our topic so i've shown you how to use diminished chord as a passing chord for chord one i've shown you for chord four i've shown you for chord five i've shown you for chord two i've shown you for chord three also yeah if I show you for chord four, for chord three. So now let's do for chords, chord, um, chord six. So you can do this for chord six. Then you can do. Okay. So four played as a diminished can function in two ways. It can form, it can function as a passing chord to three and as a passing chord to six. So we grab that very easy. Okay. So this is one way you can apply apply this as diminished chord. Let's start going with apply diminished chord as passing chords. Now let's see how we can apply diminished chord as chord replacements. So for example, if I play you are the that all So you see what just happened? I did you are the that all So you see so I played the diminished on my left hand, which is now, pay at, this is very important. Know the context of what I'm explaining. Know when I'm telling you to apply a particular diminished chord as a passing chord. And know when I'm telling you to apply a particular diminished chord as a chord replacement. Because a particular diminished chord can function in different aspects or angle depending on how you use it. You understand? So know the context of what I'm trying to tell you so that I don't miss it. I can say this diminished chord can function as a passing chord if you use it like this. That same diminished chord can function as a passing chord. So now I'm not giving you, I've given you passing chords. Now I want to give you chord replacement. Now for chord 5, if you play your chord 4 as a diminished chord, it can function as a chord replacement, a chord replacement for chord 5. Now, we are not talking about passing, we've done passing chords using diminished. Now, I want to do chord replacements. So, if you play your four, so this is F major scale. This is F major scale. Now, this is my chord four. My chord four is F and A sharp, which is B flat. So, I'm going to play B flat diminished chord. This chord that I play like this. I can use it as a chord replacement to my chord 5. So instead of playing saw, which is my 5, I just play this. It will function very well, very nice chord replacement. Now, let's apply to a song and see. You are the pillar that holds my life. You see what happens? Now, on your left hand, this is it. On your left hand, you should play just one note. So just play your five on your left hand. So this is this. This is this one, this chord I just played now, form as chord replacement using diminished chord as a chord replacement for your five. Let's apply it to a song again. Ancient of days, as old as you are, four, as old as you are, one, you will never change. You see? And it entered very, very well. Very well and nice. Enter. So, this chord, converting your chord 4 as a diminished chord, while holding down your chord 5 on your left hand, forms passing chord for 5. Let's try on another key so it might be clearer for you. So, key C. 
Que si You are the pillar that holds my life So you see So this is my soul But we now did a diminished Diminished on my right hand And holding down chord 5 On my left hand So I played chord 4 diminished Can be used as a chord replacement to chord 5 While holding down chord 5 Note 5 on your left hand So simple If we go to G so, so you are the pillar that holds my so my 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 life. You see, so chord four in in C and G diminish in and G major scale is C. So that's why I'm holding C diminish on my right hand, and I'm just holding five on C. Let's go to F sharp. So if we play, you are. You are the pillar that holds. So one, two, three, four, five. You are the pillar that holds, holds my, holds my life. So if you do, if you do this, as a diminish my life. Um, you're not playing B diminish my life. So you are the pillar that holds my life. So this is a very lovely chord replacement. So that's the first I see the way I took time to explain it. So let's go back to F. So you can apply it on any key you want. Um, good. Like I say, I'm giving you a try. At the end of, as you keep going, I will now start showing you how to convert each of these tried diminished chords to sevenths, expand them to ninth, exp expand them to thirteenths. Crazy concepts. So this is the first one we've done, converting diminished chords to a pass to chord replacement to five. Simple. Now to further make it even more interesting, to, even to further make it more interesting, when you want to convert this your four as a diminished chord, then use that four that you converted as a, to a diminished chord as a passing chord as a chord replacement to five. Add your two. So let it be two four. 2, 4, flat, 6, 7, which is Re, Fa, Z, T, then add your 5, so do something like You are the pillar that holds my life Ooh, I like it, <laughs> but the original version was always doing it. Now if you want to further expand itself to make it crazy, you can make it, uh, you can play something like a 7 on it, you can do something like this. So you can add your two, the two you're supposed to, I say you should add here, you can shift this guy to this place. So you do, you, so it's for a sweeter voice, and if you want, you are the pillar that holds my life. You see what happens now. You can even add this one. So you see why you do this. So it depends on what gives you the voice in, with a nice voice in your own, but what you should note importantly is simple. And I'm going to repeat it before I go to the next one, is if you play your chord 4 as a diminished chord, you can use this chord 4 while holding down your 5 on your left hand as a chord replacement to chord 5. So apply this and see how it goes. If I take a song, You are the same Yesterday, today, forever. Any song, it applies on any song that I've sent. So try it. So the next one I'm going to give you for chord replacement, let's see. Um, this particular one, the, um, can sound a little bit crazy to some people, like a little bit um, um, crazy. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to leave that one. So another way you can use diminished chord again, you can use diminished chord as uh, a spice for your play. What I mean, you can break down the chords, you can break down the chords and use them as spice. So if I do something like this... So, if I do diminished, all true, see this? So, you want to say, you want to apply diminished, 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 diminished. So, if I'm doing something, I'm now doing all this using diminished for chromatic 
passing chord movement. What I mean, if I'm playing something like this, watch. You can use diminish, diminish chords in series as a chromatic passing chord movement to a particular progression. I'm going to explain that big grammar I just spoke. It's a rubbish grammar, but understand it. What I mean is that if I'm playing on chord one and I want to go to chord four, I can just do one. So I can just play chord one, then I play the next one, diminish, 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 if I get to four. Let's make it lighter. So diminish, 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 then you get to four. Depends on, you look at the timing of what you want to do. So you get, or even if you don't want to do that, you can just miss, uh, miss some other notes with it. I'm going to break it down. Now, we are now getting to the complex part, you see? We are now getting to the complex part, slow, slow. <laughs> we are getting to the complex aspect of it now. We are no more doing the old beginner's aspect, so we are getting to the complex part. So let's continue. Now, listen very well. Listen. Have you shared this video? Okay. Now, this is it. We want to go to chord four. But, you know, the regular passing chords I gave you, the regular passing chord, I just gave you one movement, which is this, to chord three, to chord five, to chord six, but they are just one chords. So, but this time now, you're playing more than one chord as a passing chord, but those more than one chord you're playing, there's a diminished chord. You, so you can use diminished chord, and just that type of movement is called a chromatic passing chord movement, where you play two or more chords, as passing chords before you get to your actual chord of intention. So let's say our actual chord of intention is chord four. All I have to play, all I have to do is to play diminished. I've just look at chord four, so I can play diminished from from my flat three. Play diminished in my flat three before I get to four. For example, you see what happens. So I played chord one, flat three diminished, three diminished, then three diminished. So, 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 so this is it. So this is chord one, then flat three diminished, three diminished, then I went to four. It's very simple. So how does it work? You can use it as a passing chord. So you are the pillar that was. So I'm now playing two or more diminished chords, combining them to form a passing chord. So two passing chords before I get to my actual regular chord of intention. Easy peasy. Now, depending on the time on the time uh, allowance you have within the progression of the song and the next progression, you can try to add as much as you want. Uh, but I'll just advise you for a start, only use two. Let's say we want to go to chord five. So all we have to do to get a very sweet passing chord is to convert our four, two notes, two semitones flatten from our chord five. So if this is five, all you have to do is count two notes backwards, one, two. So from the first one you counted as number two, convert it to uh, diminish, convert the next one to diminish, but you get to the chord. So that's just the formula. So if you say, you are the feeling of that tones. You, mm -hmm, you are, can you imagine? You are the feeling of that tones. Then I want to go to chord five. My love. You see? So I did this now. I did diminish, I did diminish, and then I went to the chord. You are the fear that holds my life. Simple. I want to come to one. I'm going to play this diminish, this diminish, this diminish. I'm going to play something like this. So you see? Um, very easy. So that's how you can use that for chromatic movement. Now let's go to argumented chord. So diminish is large. Okay, before I go. How do you convert all your tried diminished chords to seventh diminished chords? It's very easy. This is it. How do you convert all your tried diminished chords to seventh diminished chords? So, first of all, what is a diminished seventh chord? You no, know, we have minor, we have minor seventh chord, major seventh chord, dominant seventh chord, diminished seventh chord. So, I'm going to give you the seven, the formula for a diminished seventh chord. Then I'll now show you all those my, uh, diminished seventh chord that I've explained. So you understand that I've, all those diminished chords, tried chords I've explained. You can now convert all of it to seventh chords. So what this means is this. The formula to do a diminished seventh chord is when you have your diminished chord, you know, for a minor chord, all you have to do is just one. This is minor seventh. 
this one is dominant seven so minus seven is you're just flattening you're just doing flat seven but for diminished if you want to play diminished seven you're going to flatten your seven two times so you're going to do one two so you're flattening your seven by a tone you land here so it is one flat three flat five and your six gives you diminished seventh chord very easy but now you start to ask yourself okay how do you automatically do this on all keys that you're playing maybe you want to play so if i play this as a diminish all i have to do is just play the next one so just count two semitones ahead from your last notes on that diminish you're playing on that diminish try you're playing if you count one two play the next one so you have a diminished seventh so if we played our former our regular chord when we play it, we want to use this remember i told you how to use this as a chord replacement to five so i told you this as a chord replacement to five so if you do you are the pillar that holds my life but now i want to convert this to a seventh chord so i'm gonna add this guy which is two semitones from the last note so you are the pillar that holds my life you see what happens now you can also decide to move this note from here to this place to the right to give you another different voicing to give you another different voicing you see so this is how you can convert all diminished chords so if you have f diminish you convert it to seventh if you have f sharp f sharp diminished chord you convert it to seventh so this is how you can now convert all your diminished chords if you have g sharp g, g diminished chord you convert it to seventh so this is how you can convert all your diminished chords to seven and i always tell people i like i like to even play my tried chords convert them to seven when you play your tried chords at seven sounds cool so now let's go so when i play a song simple progression one six two five so we are working one six two five so now let's start applying so we are now applying all those stuff okay before we start doing the application in a song i know i've been showing you and doing the application let's just do a little about argumented chord so you can use argumented chord as a passing chord to your chord four so this is an argumented chord one three flat six it's an argumented chord change the voicing of this chord it's going to be like this if you take your one and put it in your eight it's going to sound like this so this is it so you get so you can use this okay you can use this actually as a passing chord to six so this is and this is most of the chords you people say zila anyways so this is argumented chord to your six augmented chord to your six if you change the voicing of this guy you put this guy here it's going to sound like it so see yeah, um, you see passing chord to six so you can use augmented chord as a passing chord to your chord six so that being said let's apply all what we've done and see how it goes let's apply all what we've done so far so remember the first one so we're working on this progression one six four two five so one which is just a regular chord so the first i want to do is the chord replacement using our four as a chord replacement to five four as a diminished chord as a chord replacement of five so let's go one six let's increase the volume of this keyboard so that everybody that is in your house will hear me <laughs> so let's go one six four so let's do the conversion now one six two you see what is happening first one I gave you 
we've successfully converted our six, our five to this. This is what we'll now use for our five. You can even use this in praise. You are the You see? That's why you have some progressions that you hear people play. You go and start pressing your neck, pressing your neck. How do they play it? What's the notes they get? What's the note? If they don't show you the notes, sometimes if your music here is not tuned to recognize all these chords, you can never recognize that that was the progression. That was how they played it. Because this one is not about, because, you know, most people, they are only used to chords that, like, they can only say, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Then abstract chords, which is your D, your mo, your, your fi, your to, and your z. They don't know any other. There is this one that does not consign. It, it is not called Z. It is not called Tor. It is not called anything. It is just a diminished chord played with your five at this point. So if you can play all your Z anymore, you won't get it. They won't sound like it. Do you understand? So you get. So that's why you should get this concept. So let's go again. One, six. Five. Let's do the conversion now. Chord replacement. We'll get to five. Then I said you can still use it for praise. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Ali. You see it. Let's do it on the light out there. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Ali. Mm. This works very well. See, it's very nice chord replacement. I like it. Now, the next one we want to do is diminish chord as flat five, and we want to use it as a passing chord to five. So, one, six, two, five. Now, we'll apply it now. One, six, two. You see? So, this. Oh, so I don't want to start resaying and resaying and resaying. So that is how you can do it. Um, also, you can remember the chromatic, the chromatic passing chord movement very easy to use and the rest of it. So this is how you can apply diminished and augmented chords in a song. So look out for songs that have all these progressions that have done diminished chords for and the rest, and look out for how you can apply these diminished chords in these songs as a chord replacement as a passing chord remember argumented chord also used as a passing chord to six and how you can really apply them so so how you can apply them and i've given you ways you can always rewind the video to watch you know get more interesting things and see how it goes so this so far how you can apply diminished and augmented chords in a song so you can apply all these chords both in praise and in worship in any genre of music at all you can apply them so it's very useful to now know how to apply these guys so good i hope you learned something today i'm going to see you same time tomorrow um, watch out for my post about how um about when when i make a post on to suggest topics make sure you're there in the morning to suggest the topic you want to see so this topic i'm teaching right now was suggested by someone in the morning so i'm going to see you tomorrow do have a nice evening bye